UiPath path has got two design experiences one is the classic and the other is the modern design experience as an rpa developer we should know both the experiences how to use what in this playlist we are covering the classic versus the modern design in a step-by-step -step manner where we are focusing more on the modern design in the previous videos of the playlist we have covered already all of these topics in case you are absolutely new to modern design and you want to get started you can refer to the playlist and get started today in this video i am going to show you that how we can work with the sub menus and the hoverable elements into the ui path modern design okay so first of all let's try to understand what is the agenda so if i go to my notepad and let's say i have to work on this notepad where i have to first click on this button which is the format and then when i click then the second menu pops up right so if i click on view then this menu if i click on file then this menu pops up, right so let's say that we have to do an automation where we have to do something on this sub menu right but this is not a hoverable menu right so even if i keep my mouse on the file this menu does not upper right does not open actually so all you have to do is just you have to click on that and then you open this menu right so let's say if i have to automate something how we can do that so this would be the first thing and the second thing which we are going to see is the hoverable elements right what do i mean by that so for example you have this website uipart.com where let's say i have to select this menu which is coming inside this mouse hover right so notice i am not clicking on the menu however as soon as i hover then this menu pops up right so how do you handle both this situation in uipath modern design that is what we are going to see in this video okay so before getting started in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the series okay so first thing first right so we have to work on this one which is the notepad so i'll go to the activities and i'll use something which is the use application slash browser right so i hope you are following this complete modern design playlist so you understand that this is the first activity i should use okay now this is indicate application to automate so first we want to go with the notepad so i'll go here and i'll say point it to the application which is in our case is a notepad okay all this property would be op automatically populated already discussed in the previous videos so not spending much time here next we have to click on that button right so i'll go here and i click on uh, take this activity called click right and then i have to first click on file and let's say then i have to click on this button which says save right so that should open this window and if this window is open that means that my automation is working right we'll keep it simple so first thing first we have to click on the file button so i say indicate in the app and i'll point it to this button file okay so strict selector is working as we can see here in the last video we have discussed that now the element is identified by this two concentric circle which indicates that selectors are working fine so i'll go here and i'll confirm this okay now the next task for me is to select the file or the save option right inside the file so again i'll go to the activities and i'll take one more click activity after that put it after this one in the sequence indicate and now if i click here to open the sub menu what would happen it will again record the file click however i want to open the sub menu right so same like in the classic design we had an option of f2 where i was able to pause the automation here you can use the f2 also or you have this option here which is pause now the good part about the modern design is that you can pause it for any specific interval ranging from 1 2 3 5 7 and 9 in the classic as soon as you press f2 it was automatically for three seconds here in this the default value is five seconds okay so now if i go here and i just want to do it for let's say seven seconds right i can click on that and then i can say pause f2 and you can see this seven second timer at the bottom at the top i'll open this sub menu within that seven second 
and then I simply click on this button which is the save okay and now you can see here it is also working with strict selector you have an option to add the anchors all of that I'll leave it to you okay so then I'll just go here and click on this button which says confirm and that way in two steps file and save I would be able to open that window right let's quickly test it I'll save this go here and say run the file okay so if everything is working fine we should get that save menu right Let's click on the file click on the save right and you can see that we have this menu this indicates that the robot was able to click on the item on the sub menu right so this was one option where you can use the F2 technique which is to pause the automation for 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 7 seconds and then open this, click on the other one, right. So I'll save this and I hope you got this concept clear, right. But now let's try to see the browser scenario. So I'll create a new sequence, I'll call this as browser scenario and I'll create it, okay. Now the same thing let's try to do with this one solution where I want to click on this button which is banking and financial services okay so I'll go to the activities take the first activity which is the container use application slash browser and this time we are going to point it to this complete website which is in the edge uipa.com okay now I have to click on that so I can go here and I can use something which is called click drag and drop it here right but now with this website if I click on this button right it opens the solutions page right the complete solutions however my task is not to click on that my task is to select this item which is hoverable okay now I'll go to the click activity and I'll say indicate in the edge okay and I'll point it to this button solution right and the just technique we saw the pause one right if I just go here and click on the pause button it would start for the seven second I'll keep my mouse and I will try to click on this button which is banking and financial but as soon as I click it goes to the next page and you would have noticed that UiPath was not able to select the items from that hoverable menu and if you see here still it is not in the correct page right so even if I go back now I can pause this I can go back to the previous window since it is in a hoverable thing right UiPath is not able to select the items right so if you see here it was not able to get anything right so let me just cancel this okay so this is the problem right I hope you understood the problem you can try it on your own website is uipart.com so I go here indicate and then even if I open this sub menu by pausing this automation for seven seconds right even after seven seconds you would see that my cursor is not changing in a selection mode and now searching for applications loading the computer vision and you would see that the hover menu has closed right so it's not working for me right so that's the challenge now what is the uh, what is the solution the solution for that is in the same click activity maybe I can take a new one to start it fresh right whenever you have to click or do anything right I can say indicate in the edge okay and when I point it to anything right in your selection option window after the pause you have this thing which is called the hoverable element selection the shortcut for that is F6 okay so it enables you to the selection of the hoverable elements so when you click on that button now UiPath will allow you to select the items even from the hover screen so you can see that my cursor is now allowing me to select the elements which was not allowed when I have not select that option right so even if I just go and disable it and then if I go here it's not opening right to select the hoverable elements you just go here and click on this button and then you come to the solution keep your mouse and then you would have all these options enabled right let's try to click on this one which is the banking and the financial services okay and 
it's loading we'll just wait for the element to capture it right you always now have an option to add anchors to the hoverable element so the best here is that i can use this solution as an anchor right so i'll click on that okay and i can just go here and say confirm okay so what we have done is we have told you apart to click on that button which is the banking solution right if everything is working fine i should be on this page right so if i click it manually so i should be in this page which says with uh, volatility inflation something something right so i should be on that page okay so i'll go back to the previous page home screen go here and i say run the file the automation has started right and now if i go back to my page i am still at the home page right the robot was not able to click on this button and this is the issue which you might face while working with the hoverable elements right now the solution for that is already we have discussed in the previous videos which is the input methods right when these are not working by default when you work on browsers the input method if you go to the browser right the container use application slash browser if you see here the input method is set to chromium api and that chromium api is also inherited by this click activity as well right so if you see here for the click activity the input methods here here is same as the app browser right so chromium api is not working for this one you have an option to go here and change it to something which is called simulate right we have already discussed the difference between all of them in the previous videos so please do watch the previous video in case you don't understand what is the difference between them right so just to give you a context simulate works even in the background and it is the fastest of all okay so i'll go here and i change it to simulate right same automation just changing the input methods let's go here and say run the file okay so now last time the hoverable elements was not able to click on that item this time i have changed the input method and we'll just wait for the automation to fire up okay and let's go back to my screen now and you can see that see the url and see this page that we are in the correct page of ui path right so that is how you can use the hoverable elements and the pos technology of ui path right i hope both these concepts are clear and if you are able to follow along with me just comment down hoverable elements and pos so i would understand that yes we are on the same page okay so that's it for this video I would like to wrap this video here. Any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. Okay, so that is all for this video. I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation.